Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby. It is modded in 170 second scale and it copies Marine Sony MS410 C1, it's a final version it's written here. Now we have a chance to check commercial samples, so it means you'll get exactly the same kit if you order it from official Special Hobby website. So as you can see box art here depicts aircraft in quite weathered uh, camouflage. Here you can see comparison with my hand. We also have the small signs of um, marking guides which are included here, so we will be able to copy French Air Forces and also Finnish Air Forces aircraft. And then on the side we have some information about this kit. As you can see it is made in Czech Republic of course. And here on the rear side we can see all five marking options which are included into this kit. Let's zoom out a bit so that you can see them in detail. So now let's open this box and take a look inside. This is a side opening box, which is typical for such small boxes from Special Hobby. And here is what we have inside. So assembly manual and all plastic sprues and also decals packed into the same plastic bag. Of course we are going to start with this one. So let's open it. It's reusable plastic bag, let's say, which is also quite nice. And I would like to start with plastic parts. And then we will continue with all other bonuses. So here we have the first grey plastic sprue. Let's zoom in. <clears throat> now you should be able to see all those parts. So on the first sprue, in total there are two sprues as you noticed. Um, on the first sprue we have fuselage halves. We also have two types of the propeller, tail wings, also some cockpit parts. And note that both fuselage halves they are molded together with tail segment and also rudder and also those cooling parts they are pre-molded so you have to be careful while joining those two halves together just let me clean this mat a bit so that we can do the detail shooting now let's zoom in so that you can see all those parts in detail let's go There is a cockpit detailing inside, but you will have to be really careful while joining these two halves together because we don't have any guiding elements inside. And that's, uh, I wouldn't say, like the kit for beginners. Note that we also have the minor amounts of flesh around small parts. It will have to be cleaned with help of, help of a um, sharp knife. And I think that will be more than enough. Now we can move on to the next sprue, that's the second one and the last grey plastic sprue on this, uh, in this kit. As you can see here we have two types of the wings. I'm not sure why it is like this, we will have to check the assembly manual, but as you can see parts division is quite typical. We also have the wheel wells pre-molded with the slower halves and of course ailerons and flaps, they are pre-molded so you won't be able to retract them on your aircraft. Now let's zoom in and do the zoom mode with the sports.
So do not confuse those swords with guiding swords. Those will be used for the landing gear legs and only for them. Nothing else. And now we can move on to resin parts because this kit also features resin parts in separate plastic bag. Let's take them out and I will show them close in a second. Let's do zoom, focus the camera. Now you should be able to see landing gear wheels. This look really nice. They're molded as one piece parts as it is easy to notice and I think they will um, influence the final appearance of the aircraft. Here is another thing which will be noticeable. Those are exhaust stacks. They're also molded as a one piece resin elements which will have to be separated obviously. And next we have another exhaust stack. Here it is. And last but not the least for resin, here we have the tail landing gear leg which is molded together with wheel. Okay. You might have noticed also skis. Uh, those skis will be used for the winter version. I guess it will be combined with Finnish camouflage, but we will have to check it. Uh, next we have here another plastic bag. This one is dedicated to clear parts. So let's take them out as well. Here we have canopy parts. So I will bring them closer like this so that you can see them in detail. Um, both canopies are molded as one piece parts, so you won't be able to open your cockpit. But molding quality seems to be fine. Masks are not included here, so you have to be careful while masking all this stuff. And then we have another small plastic sprue, just give me a second. This one copies guiding lights or position lights on this aircraft here, you can see it. Nice molding quality and again you have to cover those with your own tools, let's say. Next we have another plastic bag. This one is dedicated to decals and also small P thread. So let's remove them. First of all decals, here you can see them. Let's focus the camera. Quite nice printing quality, I don't see where they were made. But as for me, this is really okay quality for out-of-the-box build. And as you saw, all necessary symbols were included in the, this uh, decals sheet. Then here we have small P thread. Here it is. This one is more concerned with cockpit because here we have the instrument panel and also seat belts for pilot seat. <coughs> And next we have assembly manual. This one is printed in form of this small brochure as you remember. Let's focus the camera. Now uh, we have short history note in English and Russian on, or actually Czech on the first page. Then we have parts map and then assembly process starts with cockpit. We continue by inserting the cockpit inside the fuselage. Here note that you have to use your own wire in order to copy some of the elements. Next here you have to cut off those exhaust stacks and install the resin parts which we just saw. Uh, then we continue with wings. So this um, wings version corresponds with camouflage you will choose. So note that one version applies to three camouflages and another one applies to the two camouflages. So I guess it depends on whether you choose uh, Finnish or French aircraft. Then we continue here by choosing the propeller version the same way. Now next here we have the P parts for the target side, landing gear system and then we have marking options. So marking options here of course we have the Finnish aircraft, that's a French one, another Finnish, one more Finnish and then here we have another one. So surprisingly there is only one French marking option, yes. All other markings are finished. Here we have other 170 second scale models from Special Hobby. Some of them were reviewed on our YouTube channel, so you can check it uh, on our channel, obviously. Here you can see some resin accessories. Those were checked as well. And you can find video reviews on our channel too. And that's the last bonus in this kit. 
In my opinion, this kit is not suitable for beginners. I would say it's more for those who are confident in their skills and they already uh, built some short run kits and they're able to join parts without any guiding elements, etc, etc. And especially it will be necessary to know how to work with resin and PE. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.